I want to continue our discussion about the response that we've seen to the special counsel designation of Andrew, not Andrew, sorry, David Weiss, the U.S. attorney overseeing the case into Hunter Biden, son of President Joe Biden. And the right wing response to it has been stunningly, even though I cover the right wing a lot, I know there's a lot of dishonesty going on in the leaders of that movement of that political ideology, but still I'm stunned by the dishonesty. And after saying without proper evidence that David Weiss was having his investigation into Hunter Biden, again, possibly in regard to tax evasion and lying on a federal form when he was addicted to controlled substances, saying that he wasn't to get a firearm and possibly other things that we don't know based on the depth of this investigation, we'll just have to see. But those are the things we do know. Uh, and saying that David Weiss needed special counsel status but couldn't get it, David Weiss said, no, if I needed it, I could get it. And now he asked for it and he got it. And now Republicans are saying the fact that he got special counsel status is proof that he's in on the cover up and he's going to assist in covering up and defending Hunter Biden. My brain is aching right now explaining this to you. Indeed, it's really aggravating. And now here's Lindsey Graham responding. United States senators and House members. So I think they're trying to shut down the congressional investigation. To my House colleagues, you've done a wonderful job. I've tried to be helpful. We're not going to let this go. Mr. Weiss, you're not off the hook here. This uh, Friday afternoon gambit is not going to work. We're going to continue to ask questions about the biggest sweetheart deal in the history of America. United States. He's referring to a sweetheart deal, meaning the plea deal that was reached or seemed to be reached between Hunter Biden and David Weiss, the U.S. attorney overseeing this case appointed by Donald Trump. And the plea deal that was reported on that they seem to have reached has fallen apart now, but would have been in line with similar plea deals for similar sets of potential charges. And now he's saying after that plea deal fell apart, he's going to make sure they get to the bottom of the sweetheart deal that's not a sweetheart deal that's not even a deal anymore. After the guy who's supposed to be in on this corruption has been given an extra batch of authority to oversee a case into the president's son. You just can't win for trying. Poor Merrick Garland. And by the way, I want to show you a past clip of Lindsey Graham. We looked at Marsha Blackburn in the last segment. I will encourage you if you're wondering as I'm going through this sort of fast, some of the details of this Hunter Biden situation in your YouTube segment viewer, go check the Marsha Blackburn segment on, the, on this. I give a little bit more context, but here's a past clip of Lindsey Graham saying this. Uh, they claim that Mr. Weiss, the U.S. attorney from Delaware, sought special counsel status and was denied that status and that he wanted to bring charges in D.C. and California, but he was told no. So what did I do? I wrote Mr. Weiss and said, what's the deal here? Did you ask for special counsel status? He told me in the letter he had a discussion about it, but he was sure he could get it if he needed it, and he never really answered the question. The second thing that he said in the letter back to me was he never went to D.C. or California for more serious charges. He was never rebuffed by those jurisdictions. But here Right. So whenever this particular interview was, July 10th, so around a month ago, Lindsey Graham, as a part of at that point in time, because there's so many narratives, let me update you on what that was. At that point in time, there was a whistleblower hearing going on and Republicans were trying to say that David Weiss was wanting special counsel status and wanting to bring more serious charges than the ones we were aware of in other jurisdictions, but was being blocked. And then David Weiss wrote, uh, wrote to them, reached out and said, no, if I need special counsel status or want to bring charges in a different place, I'll be able to. They're giving me all of the resources and authority I need. And Lindsey Graham was updating Sean Hannity on that, that. That's what David Weiss was saying to him. And he was saying, but I don't know, a little suspicious. So he was complaining about now the thing that David Weiss is proving to be true, which is he now feels like, okay, the plea deal fell apart. And apparently something behind the scenes, he kind of wants to look further into Hunter Biden or continue the investigation or whatever it is. And so he asked for special counsel status and Merrick Garland immediately gave it to him. Exactly what the facts of the case were uh, proving earlier. Now we're seeing even more obviously the case now. But in the most recent clip I showed you of Lindsey Graham, he is saying, you're not going to get away with this, David Weiss, Trump appointee that Biden kept in your position just to 
do everything possible to minimize the appearance of political bias. <laughs> Why? Why do we have to deal with dishonesty like this? It is truly so aggravating. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.